passing of uh, Phyllis Diller. You know mm -hmm. who else died? A uh, character actor, William Wyndham. Oh, I loved William Wyndham. Yeah, 88 years old. He was on Murder, She Wrote, yep. Star Trek, Twilight Zone. Had his own uh, show, too, called My World and Welcome to It. I remember that one. Way, way back. William Wyndham. The early 1990s were bad times in this area for banking institutions. In Rhode Island, many credit unions insured by an agency called RISDIC were shut down because of a problem with that agency's deposit insurance capabilities. And in Massachusetts, at least one FDIC-insured bank also shut down. Today's flashback begins 20 years ago today, August 21st, 1992, at a bank called Attleboro Pawtucket Savings. The new name is the New Bedford Institution for Savings. It just absorbed all 19 branches of the failed Attleboro Pawtucket Savings Bank. Unlike the credit union crisis that has plagued Rhode Island, though, customers here have federal and state insurance, which means no accounts will be closed and no money will be lost. Part of what the FDIC does when they come in to take over a facility like this is they bring their own computer banks. They also bring their own manpower. 196 FDIC employees will be working in this branch today, Saturday, and Sunday. And these additional computers have just been brought in to help to facilitate the transfer? Absolutely. Balance out the accounts and, and deliver the bank to the new institution. Now, August 21st, 1995. Look, there's former consumer reporter Mary McGuire doing a story about some local residents just back from a cruise from hell. Grinding in the grip of Hurricane Felix on a return trip from the Bahamas just days ago. Oh, it was terrible. It was rolling, pitching. Banging. I would think that it was a disaster, uh, all in all. We hit heavy surf and heavy seas, and, uh, and it really pitched and rolled, and uh, most everybody got sick. Including Dot, who felt even worse after the ship's sewer line broke. It just got Ew. worse and worse. It just goes to show you how cruises can sometimes turn out. Mary McGuire now works for AAA of Southern New England. Ken Malloy, the reporter in 1992, is now a TV news broadcaster in Fresno, California. The New Bedford Institution for Savings, which took over that failed Attleboro Pawtucket mm -hmm. Savings Bank, later became part of Fleet Bank, which became part of Bank of America. Yada, yada. Yeah. Now, 